Hey everyone, GotTaker92 here with a little update video. I tried recording it earlier, but because it was so early in the morning, I didn't want to talk too, well, loud. So here I am redoing it because you could barely hear me in that video. So that video is long gone now. I have deleted it. And here is the new update video where I will be just covering a few things I have planned, a few things that may or may not happen. You never know. So, to start out, I have recently been checking out my subscriber count, because I really haven't been doing that a lot lately, so I checked it this morning, and I realized I am actually getting close to 500 subscribers, so, I mean, I've always wanted to do a video for, like, every time I hit a certain number of subscribers, so, since this is getting basically to the halfway point to a thousand, I figure why not possibly do a video when I get to 500 subscribers? Maybe? I don't know. This is going to be one of those videos where basically comment below, leave a comment down there with your opinions on certain things. Like, if you would like to see a video for when I hit 500 subscribers, please. Tell me whether you want to see it. Tell me if you think it's just a pointless idea. It's just like, okay. And basically, if you do want it, like, what what kind of thing would you want me to do? Would, like, would you like me to have, like, some drawing videos in there? Like, just tell me what kind of things you would like me to either talk about or do. I could easily just separate into segments, make them a long-ass video, but... I mean, it wouldn't be too long, but... I do have that option to upload videos longer than 15 minutes, so... You can take advantage of that. So, yeah, I can separate into segments, just tell me what you guys want. I might include, oh, I don't know, a possible music video for a remake of Have You Seen the Herobrine I've been working on. Now, whether or not that has backing vocals or not, I will let that be up to you. I will make two separate versions of the song, and I will basically make two separate versions of the video. One with the version with the backing vocals, and one with the version without. I will basically upload whichever one gets the uh, more votes, I guess. So let's consider that like a little poll. So yeah, most votes on that get the um, version that ends up being posted. Now whether or not that comes out the day of the 500, well the possible 500 subscriber video, you never know. But, it could happen. So, yeah. Moving on, it's like I have a little post over there, so like, mm, it's, it's like trying to keep organized and to keep this condensed. It's very hard for me to just keep things short and simple, so. Let's attempt, so let's say attempt at that, that. Reviews. As some of my older viewers may know, I do like movie reviews, and I like trying movie reviews. But, if you've noticed with a good portion of my movie review, it was a lot of just experimenting with styles, and basically a lot of monkey see, monkey do, where it's just like, I'm just getting into this, I'm doing what most artists would do, and that would be just copying and working off of that to hopefully create my own style. And that's the thing, I am more of a... I'd say more of an analytical person. I like looking at the details, but it's just like, considering most of the popular reviewers are, like, mainly negative, which is why I did fair and square reviews, so it's like, cover the positives and the negatives of the movie. It's just like, mm, it's like, it's kind of hard to balance the humor out with the analytical stuff, so it's just like, yeah. I'm going to be doing... Uh, a lot of comparisons, and it's like I'm still working on, on perfecting my style, so you might not see another review for God knows how long. But Horror Movie Mania, I do have a bit of an idea of where I want to go with it, because I did like the initial setup of the, of the first episode, well, the only episode <laughs> at the moment, which is for 1989 Phantom of the Opera. And I do like that setup. But it's like, that was also since I was still experimenting, and I still am experimenting, and that was the first episode, I decided, 
oh, I'm going to go back to something that I used to do, which was basically jot down notes, make a little outline of key points, and just record what needs to be recorded, and, then it, and basically edit it together. <laughs> so I was just like, yeah. But I, I do like that style. So, fair, so as far as Fairy Scar View goes, it might take little elements of things from horror movie mania and just like mix, mix and mash those together. I don't know the best wording for it, so yeah. But yeah, I do plan doing more reviews, but I do plan doing a lot of comparisons. One of them is definitely going to be Nightmare on Elm Street original versus the remake. And I'm not going to say, oh, the remake sucks, or oh, my, or oh my god, the remake is the worst thing ever, because to be honest, when you don't if you don't try to compare it back to back with the original and say, oh my god, the original is ten times better, or, or say, oh, they're completely ripping it off, and actually look at it as a separate movie itself, it, it actually is a fairly decent movie. And, and that's the thing, it's like, being an Iron Man Street fan myself, obviously, poster in the background, but being an Iron Man Street fan myself, it's like, I can appreciate certain things in the movie, and I do like some of the things they did with with the character, with the introduction of the character, despite the fact that Michael Bay did have some little thing to do with the movie, which is probably why there was that one little moment with the explosion. Because if Michael Bay is connected to it, there has to be at least one explosion, right? Uh, but yeah. It's like, aside from a few little things, it is actually fairly smooth. So I'm going to make that a completely different review. And as far as the reviews go, too, I am definitely going to try and, and incorporate my own artwork. So I will more than likely be trying to do artwork for each one. So it won't just be like, oh, I'm making the title card. I'll try to do things literally for it. So instead of looking up a picture of the character, I'll draw pictures of the characters or, or something like that. So it's just like, that way you get more of me in it instead of, oh, I'm taking a copyrighted image. I mean, granted, it's still technically the characters in the movie, so technically they are still copyright to the movie, but it's like, but it's still part of something I create. So, if you have any ideas for movies you would like me to review for either Horror Movie Mania or Fair and Square Review, comment below, and keep in mind, for both, it's still going to be technically fair and square. I'm not going to completely take sides. There's only one movie I will completely take sides. Uh, seriously, I, there's only one I... And that's the one I'm planning on reviewing next, which I'm still regretting on. I've been holding off on this for so long, because it's like, one, my original idea for how to start it off went down the crapper. So, working from scratch now, and that was for, uh, I don't even want to talk about it, but Hellraiser Revelations, the movie that shouldn't exist, but was made to maintain the rights. But after doing a little more research into it, it may be a good thing that they've been trying to keep the rights because the supposed reboot is still in the works because the, the reboot's been rumored for god knows how long now. So, might be a good thing to see. And I just realized this is eight minutes. I just, I doesn't feel like I've been talking for eight minutes. I, I don't know why. But still, yeah. It may be a good thing. They're trying to perfect it. They're trying to find the right person for it. So this piece of crap that is Hellraiser Revelations may just be the saving grace for the series, or at least for the reboot to come. But moving on, after that, as far as, well, reviews go, there's also one more review I want to talk about before I fully move on to the next thing. And that comparison, again, is going to be the little Cirque du Freak thing. Not gonna, I'm not so much going to say book versus movie, but since I do have the first few books now for the Cirque du Freak series, I am going to be comparing bits and pieces from that, and then giving my own opinion. So it's just like, don't expect me to say, oh my god, I love the books, because I haven't read the whole series. Seriously, I, I haven't even actually fully read the book. I was literally looking for, like, it was a textbook, just giving for for key scenes, key, key points, in comparison to certain things in the movie. So, yeah, and I will be touching on the prequel series as well, so I may mention the saga of Martin Cressley, so look forward to that. 
and my computer's being a pain. I'm about to go to screen paper girls. Now I got that taken care of. Ten minutes, really, really. You guys are gonna love me for this, aren't you? But moving on, now we got Minecraft on Elm Street, one of my favorite builds personally for Minecraft. And recently I stumbled across an older Minecraft on Elm Street build that I was working on that was more of a somewhat to scale model, which is ten times bigger than the the actual live-in version that I was working on with the little trap door that leads to the little nightmare realm. So I may show you guys that. I don't know if I'm ever going to get back to working on that, but it's there, so I might just show you guys where that left off. And as far as the actual Minecraft on Elm Street build itself, the live-in version where you can actually use it as a home in Minecraft, I am building a separate flat world version. It's not going to be the same exact dimensions as the ones I've been working on with the Nightmare Realm and everything, but I just wanted to work on a flat world version so like that I know I can get it finished with a lot quicker. Plus, it's a lot easier to get that done for you and basically it's out for download for you guys can to use on your own or tweak and make little Nightmare on Elm Street fan movies out of. Like, you could probably make, like, a nether portal somewhere in there and just say, hey, Nightmare on Elm is the nether. Oh, that would be cool. But I am still working on the main Nightmare on Elm Street build. But for now, I'm also working on a flat world one, so, like, you guys at least have something until the whole thing is done. And I will be doing another build tour of the original Minecraft on Elm Street build, so that way you guys can at least have some idea of what I've been doing. And finally, as far as I can think, no wait, I think there are two more things? Yeah, two more things. Bookshelf tour. So I, can, I just realized I totally skipped one on my little list, but bookshelf tour. I have had some new books added to the collection, so I'm going to be taking you on a little journey between two of the bookshelves, two of the main ones, not that little skinny middle one from the second video from last time. But I kind of like the format from the last time, from last time where it's just like pan across each shelf and then pick out certain books from each shelf that I like or am anxious to read or can't wait, it's like or just recommend or stuff like that. That way it's not like I'm talking about every book on the shelf. So going to talk about some of the newer editions, not the newest editions, because like, I don't really remember when I got some of these, but there have been a lot of editions to, well maybe not a lot, but there have definitely been additions to it, it's been reorganized and whatnot, so it's going to look a little different. But yeah, that's what I got going for that, and one more thing, and that would be singing videos. I'm going to be cutting back on videos of me doing covers, whether they be a cappella or karaoke. So don't expect too many of those anymore. I'm going to try to work on original songs. I'm kind of failing at writing original songs at the moment. Because, like, every time I go to write an original song, I think of a parody, and then I start writing parodies, and it's like, ah, I don't want to work on that unless I can start working on, on a backing track for it. Because I, while I do have some instrumental tracks, I don't want to get copyrighted for the track and not so much the song itself, because while I can completely rewrite the lyrics and everything, I mean, the lyrics completely original, I still need to have my own backing. So, yeah, expect more original songs coming up. Don't expect guitar with them, unless you just want to see me strum at random, because I kind of suck at it. Granted, not that bad at keyboard, but I'm slowly improving on singing and playing at the same time. Yeah, I, it's a good thing about, about being a fan of Steam Power Giraffe. Me wanting to learn some of the songs on my keyboard, as crappy as it is, has taught me how to sing and play at the same time a lot better. So, yeah, expect more original songs. Maybe a few Steam Power Giraffe tributes, because I love Steam Power Giraffe, of course. And I think that's about it. Yeah. So, remember, comment below for any reviews you want me to do, like any movie reviews, any comparison reviews but between movie and book, but don't expect me to do a lot of those, especially if it has book automatically, because with a lot of them I more than likely don't have 
either the book or the movie or sometimes both. So for now I can easily do a comparison between Search, to, search for Vampire Assistance and the book. See, Clockwork Orange book versus movie because I do have the version of I do have the edited version of the American copy, so it does have the missing chapter which was not included in the movie, so I can easily do a comparison between that as well. Uh, let's see, mm. I'm trying to think of what else I have as far as book and movie. Oh, Dune, Dune. Oh, that would be a textbook of a read. Yeah, because the book's like this thick, <laughs> this thick, this tall, and the movie, oh god, it's, yep, I could do that one too. So yeah, and I'll also do a, you know, how if I just add this on too, I'll do a, a little shelf tour of my movie collection as well, and I'll go for the box under my couch too, just like all comedies and family movies and whatnot, my VHS collection, so yeah. You guys can tell me what you want me to review. Comment below with those. And don't forget about that possible 500 subscriber view. So if we can get the subscriber count up, you might get have seen the hair of Brian a little early. Just, well, depending on whether or not the videos are ready by then. Because I still got work on the actual music videos, of course. Well, anyway, not music videos. Because be the same music video, just depends on which version of the song I'd be using. So remember that too. You guys choose which song, which version of the song gets to go with the video. So you decide which becomes the final product. With or without backing vocals, as in all the instrumental vocals to make it look like acapella and everything. Acapella. I don't know what I was doing with the accent there, but still yeah. You guys are in control of that part. Comment below what you would like to see in the 500 subscriber video thing. But remember, keep it within reason. We are sticking with critiques here. And yes, I do also plan on making a rule video, so keep an eye out. Got to 92, signing out.